New at four, two arrests are made in connection with the murder of a 25 year old man in Federal Hill. WJZ is live at City Police Headquarters. Rick Ritter has the new developments. Rick? Well, Vic, 23-year-old DeAndre Sleet is now pinned with the murder of Timothy Morricone. Police believe, uh, say Sleet has a history of charges, a slew of charges to say the least. They say this was all an attempted robbery that quickly took a deadly turn. We're getting our first look at DeAndre Devon Sleet. The man police say murdered 25-year-old Timothy Morricone, shooting him at point-blank range in Federal Hill. Young man like that. It almost makes you cry. Last Thursday around 7 o'clock, Marconi was walking home from a relative's place on Riverside Avenue when authorities believe Sleet tried to rob him and instead ended up killing him. The entire community was left shaken. Such a big relief. You know, you can come out at nighttime, maybe. But instead of backing down, banded together, coming through with crucial information that led detectives to the same car seen in surveillance video that night. Inside of that vehicle were two suspects, but along with the gun. Uh, the gun was ballistically matched to the, the bullet that was used um, that ultimately killed uh, Mr. Morricone. Both the 23 year old Sleet and the woman with him were taken into custody, and police believe both are linked to several street robberies. Um, it, it appears that um, he would conduct the robbery and she would drive the getaway car. A city dealing with a spate of violence that's flat out scary, as Marconi's murder was one of 37 in September. But without help from the public, a turnaround is hard to imagine. People can't get upset and enraged when a community says, We're not going to take it. If you know the guy, you know the guy. And if you decide you're going to protect them, then you're complicit in the violence that's going on in the city. And Smith made a couple of passionate pleas, basically saying you can't be outraged and upset about the violence in your community if you are not going to step up with crucial information. And this case was a perfect example of that. Now, as we mentioned, Sleet, he's a repeat offender with a slew of charges in the past. We're going to have a whole lot more on that coming up later tonight. Live at City Police Headquarters this afternoon, I'm Rick Ritter for WJZ.